Live from New Orleans, it's theCUBE. Covering Veeam on 2017. Brought to you by Veeam. We're back, welcome to theCUBE and Veeam on 2017. My name is Dave Vellante with Stu Miniman. Vladimir Val Taft is here. He's the Principal Infrastructure Architect at Granite Construction. Val, good to see you. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Pleasure. So tell us about uh, Granite Construction. What do you guys do? Well, Granite uh, is one of the largest public construction companies in U.S. Uh, it's a publicly traded uh, company. It's actually uh, one of the S&P 500 with the uh, annual revenues of two and a half billion dollars. And uh, if you see on the East Coast, uh, if you see Tappan Zee Bridge, mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the flagship projects of uh, granite construction, as an example. But also roads, tunnels, uh, airports, uh, heavy construction. So, so was that the old Tappan Zee or the new one that's been going up? The new one. Oh yeah, yeah, it looks great. <laughs> yeah, I flew oh, over it you. last week on my way to Orlando. I said, ah, oh, that's the... New right. Tappan Zee. Uh, looking forward to making it easier to get down to New York City, uh, New Jersey area. Yes. Yeah. So again, it's <laughs> it, uh, it's a, one of the flagship projects we're we're proud of. And in your role as a as a principal architect, tell us about that and your background there. Well, um, construction industry is not known for over investing in uh, IT. Uh, you know, if you look at Gartner's reports, uh, construction industry typically is around one plus percent of the revenue, and that's where Granite is. So when the new team took over uh, IT, uh, there was an you know, org change, uh, we inherited a lot of technical debt. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was uh, uh, plus expiring uh, uh, um, lease on the data center, which was actually going to be closed down by a major vendor, and we had to move it very quickly. Okay, so you come to a show like Vimon to learn from your peers, figure out best practices. I mean, that's what you hear from people, but what's the event been like for you? What's the conversation been like? And where are you focused? Well, uh, we uh, chose Veeam as a partner, a uh, technology partner, for a number of, I believe, good reasons. So one of the uh, motivations for me to, to, to come here was to establish better contacts with the Veeam uh, organization. Also, I realized that the technical depth uh, here is, uh, I would say, superior to many other events I've, uh, I had attended. So I was really uh, uh, searching for that depth, as well as the right contacts because uh, we uh, are, out, are right outside of the Silicon Valley, so we're actually doing forward-looking things. I can give you some examples. Please, yeah. Uh, we were site number 141 for the uh, SDN implementation using Cisco ACI, as an example. Uh, we are uh, a proud customer of ServiceNow, was there last week and service now knowledge. Uh, that's right. Yeah. I, actually, I, I did go to Orlando. Um, and uh, well, we also have HP as our preferred vendor. Um, so all of them are present in this forum. And uh, some of the announcements, uh, I really had a good fortune to hear firsthand, actually make our life easier now. So anytime I hear of service now customer, I, I know they've been through some kind of transformation. When you talked about technical debt, um, and I'm inferring that you've modernized some of your infrastructure, that's a big part of what you have to do as an IT architect. Can you talk about that? Um, is that, first of all, is that correct? And what did you have to do to achieve that? Well, as a team, we had to, as I mentioned, uh, repay a lot of technical debt in a short period of time. Uh, and. Uh, move our data center, but our main data center is just it. It's just one data center. Uh, Granite uh, is uh, from, uh, operational from coast to coast. Uh, we have uh, more than 40 uh, regional and branch sites. They have their own computer installations, uh, computer rooms or mini data centers. 
we have 120, uh, depending on the time of the year and uh, the volume of business of uh, construction sites, uh, which are also IT sites. So that even the scale of that operation is, is a challenge. And Val, with so many locations, can you speak to the impact that Veeam has uh, with, with what you're doing, both you know, operationally and just in general? Sure. Uh, again, um, in, this, in this reasonably short period of time, uh, Veeam helped us, again, as a, as a tool to um, enable VM level backups because we had to virtualize very quickly uh, and then move over the wire fr uh, from the old data center with the expiring lease. Lease expiration was really like a surprise um, for the new team to the new data center at uh, AT&T uh, in Redwood City, California. Uh, Veeam was there as a our backup tool to secure the baseline for the main data center. The main data center is VMware, so Veeam apparently has a great name in the VMware community. But then the field is all, it's pure Microsoft. Uh, and uh, with Hyper-V, Veeam was there right on time uh, with uh, support for Microsoft, pure Microsoft environment. So that's what enabled our uh, field, uh, securing the basis for the field, uh, which uh, we didn't have any backup standards, uh, we, didn't, we couldn't get uh, full control of uh, our data, the ownership, the governance was not there, uh, the backups were disjointed. Uh, so at this point, when we go, uh, nailed what Ari started referring to as a Veeam on the ground, we, we have that baseline. Uh, we also, uh, and, and here on the, on the show floor, I made contacts with, with the Veeam partner who actually can look at the Veeam backups, analyze them, and it's a, a low cost entry for us to, to really better understand the, the dark data mm -hmm. we inherited. Uh, some of that may be backups of the old backups of the old backups. Some of it may have PII. So, uh, uh, again, it's one extra uh, benefit of attending the show was establishing contacts with the partners who actually complement the uh, Veeam solution. Frankly, getting this information in the field is more of a challenge, especially uh, if or when we deal with very good resellers or, and, and partners Veeam has, uh, but there is always a delay. Uh, getting this information firsthand expedites things. Mm. All right, Val, we're out of time, so thank you very much for coming to the Cube. I appreciate it, good to meet you. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest. This is Dave Vellante, Stu Miniman, live from Veeam 2017. We'll be right back. <laughs>